Hello, everybody, and welcome to my February plan with me for 2021. So for this theme, I'm doing an Aquarius kind of galaxy theme since February is my birthday month and I'm an Aquarius. So I wanted to do that for this theme this time around. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below, and make sure to hit the little bell for notifications on new videos. So for the cover, I just wanted to do something relatively simple. I did the Aquarius urn, which I'm just wetting the inside of now with uh, water, and I'll be going in to do a galaxy wash with my watercolors. After that was done, I just went in and thickened up my lines on the urn just so they would stand out and pop a little bit more. Next I went in with some acrylograph pens to just draw in some planets, some stars, some moons, and some other little things to fill the galaxy space.
I typically do cursive when I do my month titles, but this time around I wanted to do different lettering, something a little bit more spacey. So I went with kind of a more rounded, blocky lettering for uh, this month. For my next page in my calendar, I wanted to try and condense everything onto as few pages as possible this time around just because I was going to have a bit of a busier month, so I wanted everything to be right there where I could find it easily. So on this page, I have my small version calendar as well as an event log on the opposite page and my habit trackers, notes, and my brain dump are all together in one area. Under my calendar, I just put smaller boxes for my Animal Crossing tracker since there isn't much left now that we're coming on a year in the game, as well as my monthly to-do, which is just some very simple things I wanted to get done before the end of February. So since the birthstone for February is purple, I decided to do shades of purple for my theme color for the month. So I'm just using my mild liners in different shades of purple to write in my days of the week on the calendar as well as adding borders to the rest of the boxes around the calendar.
then I went in and wrote in my habit trackers. I had to do these ones by hand this time just because my stamps don't cover a perfect rectangle month including only 28 days so those I had to write in but then I was also happy that each month was missing a couple days so I didn't have to write as much. I decided to go back over my shadow borders with the chisel tip end of my mild liners just because I thought the original thinner line just looked really messy so I wanted to go over it with the thicker cleaner line just to neaten it up a bit and add a bit more definition and I did end up liking this much better. Finally, I just added some star doodles with different shades of purple just to add a little bit of fun decoration to the page. Moving on to my weekly, I did my usual weekly spread, which consists of my calendar for the week, as well as my to-dos and various things that I need to remember for that particular week. So for this one, I have my budget and any additional notes, as uh, we were still in lockdown, so I didn't have any separation between my work and personal to-dos, but in the following weeks, I would put that in as we were about to come out of lockdown in my industry and would be going back to work in a week or two.
And that was my relatively simple and condensed bullet journal for February. I hope you all enjoyed and were able to get some inspiration. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.